Coming up, handsome mustachy old man recaps news in pleasing baritone. Stay tuned for this and more. Hey, 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 I recognize you from the television. You're Tom Tucker. I bet you can do this. Can my wife Stacy get you anything? Go to hell, Tom. Already there, hon. A local boy dies after playing video games for 51 hours straight. He was playing Halo, now he has a Halo. Just kidding, he was gay. Because of an accident today at the Quahog Cable Company, all television transmission will be out for an undetermined amount of time. Of course, no one can see this news program, so it doesn't really matter what we say. <laughs> I'm the Lord Jesus Christ. I think I'll go get drunk and beat up some midgets. How about you, Diane? Well, Tom, I just plain don't like black people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're still on in Boston? Ah, I see my colleague Tom Tucker is already on the scene. Who's that, baby? <laughs> Hello, this is Tom Tucker. Z evil twin Todd Tucker, out to destroy his brother's reputation. Ha ha ha! Now I'm going back inside to have freaky sex with my prostitute, with whom I still have 45 minutes. Oh my god, they've opened fire! All right, looks like things are getting very heated here. This is not a safe place to be. And now sports. Next up, stay tuned for our special investigative report on the clitoris. Nature's Rubik's Cube. Well, Diane, that last report was so good, I think you deserve a spanking. Oh, Tom, I don't think your wife would appreciate that. Diane, that frigid old cow lives in Quahog. She can't hear a word I'm saying. Actually, we're back on the air in Quahog. Quite a situation we've got here, Tom. Quite a situation we've got here, Tom, indeed, Diane. Today, the Quahog River was dyed red in honor of Valentine's Day. So if you're looking to do a river murder, this could be your window. Over 200 reports of ear sex have been confirmed so far, prompting a new slogan. Once you go black, you go deaf. Look at you, you fat, gross Moroccans, with your ooga booga food. Coming up, yesterday's brisket. <clears throat> But first, breaking news. They want me to be the new artistic director of the Quahog Players. All right, Mom! Are you going to do it? I don't know. It's such a big responsibility. I, I need a moment to think. Okay, I'll do it. This just in, Lois Griffin has been named the new artistic director of the Quahog Players. Is this the Quahog Mustache Society? Yes, it is. What's the secret password? Mustache. All right, come on in. Scientists announced today that if your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you! Oh, ah! Ah! Oh, that's not even really news. Point of mustache. The chair recognizes your mustache. Have we discussed what to send Wilford Brimley next month as it is the 70th birthday of his mustache? Oh, I think we just send a nice card. Just make sure it has a mustache on it. Point of mustache. The chair recognizes your mustache. What can we as citizens do about mustache awareness? Good mustache question. We have a new product in our mustache catalog that makes a great stocking stuffer. We call it the Mustache. The slogan is, you mustache your mustache in the mustache. That'll be all for today. Good mustache. Good, Good mustache. mustache. Good evening, everyone. Our top story... Marijuana is now legal. Le le is now legal. Legal in Quahog. And it's made everything just so great. Is your king to be a king to be I will be playing the role of Anna in the Quahog Players production of The King and I. Tom? Thanks, Diane. In other news, I won't be going to the play because I'm sure it will be lousy. Tom, I'm getting late word that you're a petty, jealous closet case. Bit of breaking news. We now go live to Diane being a bitch, Diane. From at Jenny94, water seriously cold, yo. Here's at the Ted69. I'm gonna survive this, LOL, JK. JK, indeed. Greg the Weather Mime. Okay, it's going to be cold, very cold, and, and, and there's going to be wind, and people's parents will throw fecal matter down on them from the rooftops. How awful! Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. That's, that's rain. Y yes, it'll rain. Dad, there's an evil monkey in my closet! I don't care, son. I just do not care. Coming up, important traffic news that can't help you because you're someplace where a TV is. Since the laws of death no longer apply, I can do this. That's right, Tom. <laughs> and now it's time for sports. 
We interrupt this program because I have had kind of a crap day, and I know all the station passwords to do it. So smell that finger, Kohog. Rain continues to pound Rhode Island. Let's go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa, who's gonna tell us all about the rain. Our top story, a local Yankee fan's dream comes true when he's diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. Well, there you have it. Back to you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Some damn fine reporting. And that is why chest hair is on its way back. And both sides appear to be at an impasse, so ground control is telling Major Tom this could be a long one. <laughs> Does anyone else like David Bowie? Better hurry up, Mr. Tucker. I'm coming. Our next Spelling Bee contestant is Omar Mahajarif. Uh, something September 11th. Wish it, want it, do it. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Uh, yeah. And it's non-fiction, right? Uh, yes, it is. Now, no, which one is that? I, I always forget. Is that the one that really happened or not? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, so th so now so this is this is a true story. Well, it's not really a narrative. Doesn't matter. I'm hooked. Peter Griffin and Omar North Tower. Omar, you'll be going first. Your word is coagulate. C, O, A. G. A. Oh, I'm sorry, Omar. Bet you could spell box cutter. I'm nine years old and I'm Indian. A police spokesperson was quoted as saying, Duh, I'm a dumb cop. I like to give Tom Tucker a ticket. I was going like 41. It appears a new challenger has entered the field. The crowd has fallen deathly ill. Silent. Sorry. It's a tough world here. You hear about it every night on the dog news. Coming up, that bush in the park is my bush. It's my bush. Your word is... Lesbians. Can you use it in a sentence? The two lesbians are going shopping. Can you use it in a dirty sentence? The two lesbians are going shopping for double-headed marital aids. To him. Wait! Can you use it in a libelous sentence? Gillian Anderson and Helen Hunt are lesbians. L-E-S-B-I-A-N-S. -E Correct! Today we bring you a disturbing case of child pornography. Local teenage scumbag Chris Griffin, whose name will be omitted here, was caught sending quote-unquote graphic selfies of his hog, not sure where that quote is from, to another underage student. Coming up next, teleprompter guy puts the period in a weird place. Would you consider growing a mustache? Uh, I guess so. Question number two. Look at my mustache. Do you think it tickles women when I kiss them? I... I don't know. Wrong. The answer is only slightly. Only slightly. When licked, these toads trigger an intense psychedelic euphoria that, that's just great. Look, I'm turning down the thermostat. See Diane's erect nipples at 11. Coming up next, a pig who refuses to eat Jews? He won a local Emmy for his work with the retardeds. They certainly wanted to hug me. Maybe in time you will too. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Tucker. Good night. Apparently, there were 100 kilos of cocaine right here in Quahog, and yet my guy can't get dick. Lando Griffin, a popular student at a local high school, was killed last night when his motorcycle careened off Dead Man's Curve. Police were baffled when no body was found at the scene, but they decided it was best not to ask questions and just let everyone get on with their lives. Oh my god, you guys, we must have fallen asleep. We're in the dream right now! That's right, you are in a dream, children, which means you are going to get something of a serious scratching by me, Freddy Krueger. Ha <laughs> ha! Is it... is it Kroger? Chris Griffin, a weaver of dreams at the loom of the mind. A weaver of dreams at the loom of the mind. A neat thing I just said. And now sports! I want some ice cream! No, Peter, you finish your food. You... hey! You, you get back here right now, mister. Don't... don't you... Get down from that chair or you're in big trouble. You... you put that ice cream back right now. I mean it. I am not kidding around. I am not going to say it again. Uh, if you put that ice cream in your mouth, you're going to be in big trouble, young man. D you uh, uh. <laughs> I hate you! I hate you! I want my mommy! Well, I'm the best you've got! Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker, and the reason I'm wearing this mask is because we've got a Make-A-Wish kid in the studio tonight, who, as you'll find out as the show goes on, is quite a coffer. In local news, Mayor West signed a bill today... <coughs> See, that's, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> are we going to get that, or, or are we going to wait for commercial?
No, no, you have to spray it. You can't just wipe... You know what? Let's just throw the whole camera out. Hey, that was quite a rant there. You know, we're looking for an everyman to rant about petty, nonsensical irritants to replace our Spotlight on the Middle East segment. What the hell is in this? Sweet and low. That's for trying to steal my woman. Go back and bring it to me with urine in it like I asked. Yes, sir. The man who held the Guinness World Record for most drugs ever done by a single human being died today. He was attacked by a pack of wild dogs he thought he saw. Oh, my God. What happened? I fell through a trap door that led to an underground passageway. So I followed it, and it led me to a hatch over there in the parlor. The same thing happened to me, but with a mustache. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Michael Myers. I have enormous psychological problems, and I'm going to take them out on you. In other news, after several grueling days of frightening uncertainty, I finally get my period. Well, Diane, I'm sure you and your brother must be devastated by the loss of the two-headed offspring that might have been. Gotta get the energy up. Found it. Coming up next, a boxing match where the fighters are bleeding before the fight? We've got exclusive coverage of tonight's women's boxing bout, Griffin versus Jackson. School children washing cars to raise money for charity. Is there anything more arousing? What I did was wrong. And as an act of contrition, I will now insert this carnivorous earwig into my brain. Huh, kind of tickles. Ah! Oh, God! It's eating out the back of my eyes! It's nice to meet you, Martin. Thank you, Mrs. Huxtable. If you guys are a family, why are none of you the same shade of black? This is totally unacceptable. How long are you going to be? I'm very hungry. You're fired, Tom. Turn in your press pass and any other studio property. Excuse me. I'm looking for Ed Manzelli. Good evening. I'm Ed Manzelli. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a guy who used to work here. Name's Mario. You got any idea where he could be? I haven't seen him in over a month. That's the end of my line. Your line, NCIS. You son of a bitch, you made me feel again. Oh, don't you go, because I'll go. The city of Detroit has officially given up. The now former mayor has given the key to the city back to the Huron Indian tribe. So farewell, Detroit. From Bob Seger to Axel Foley, we never really cared. Come on. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes. 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 Eat my dust, Crash Bandicoot. The restaurant has gone into foreclosure and will be up for auction tomorrow. Yeah, it's hard to believe a place where you eat with your hands next to piles of horse dung while untrained theater students fight with real swords could be drowning in lawsuits. Good co-hog evening. Oh, let's, uh, let's do that again. Good evening, Hog Quo, I'm Tucker Tom. Nope. Good after evening noon, Hog Tom, Quo, I'm Er Tuck. Quo, goodening noon, Tom Er Tuck, I'm Ning Ning after evening, Quo, Noon Hog. Our top story. Hear that, Neil? I don't like you and I never will. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Meg. I guess beggars can be choosers. We've got some on and off drizzle here today, and we're a little wet, as you can see, because apparently there are no awnings that exist anywhere. There's your top news story right there. Mysterious awning shortage ravages the Northeast, but miraculously has not affected channels two or six. No, no, keep the camera over there. I want everyone to see it. This is why we're third. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. I've deleted all my old tweets, so don't even bother looking for bad stuff. Screen grabs can be faked. Today we'll see some of Quahog's finest athletes struggle valiantly against God's twisted designs. You'll cheer, you'll cry, you might even get a cheap laugh or two. I know I will, Tom. In fact, there's the distinct possibility that by the end of the day, we'll all be going to hell. I'll see you there, Diane. We're here at the 17th hole, where Peter Griffin and Cleveland Jr. are five strokes ahead, making victory all but a certainty. You can put a picture of a note above my shoulder any time now, Tony. No, that's the Rose Bowl Parade. That's the Pumpkin Festival. Okay, okay, you think that humiliates me? You, I, I don't care. Oscar De La Hoya does it. Diane, didn't your first husband blow his brains out? <laughs> Coming up, America's hottest new curse word, Kleeman. We'll tell you what it means after this. Big news out of Six Flags Columbus today as they unveil what promises to be the largest roller coaster in the United States. That's right, Joyce. They call it the Holocaust. The ride has several Jewish groups up in arms as they go over the first rise. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. They're, they're actually pretty upset. We will use the special lights to see just how filthy this seemingly clean hotel room really is. Good evening, Quahog. I'm Dallas Portland. And I'm T. Homie, with the news in your mouth! Tom's about to tattoo the word Coachella on the bridge of his nose. Is that a thing? Uh, I don't know, Grandma. I sit back and... Oh, ah, he got his eye! God.
What's wrong with you, Dallas? Never seen a guy so young and cool before? <coughs> Tumblr! Mr. Tumblr! Thank God you're here! Someone's gonna do something! He's gonna fall! I'm on it, Meg. Hey, have that cartoon sound effect guy cue up the... And then top it off with a... And if there's time before commercial, be ready with a... I can't do anything else. I was born to be a newsman. This just out, me! Coming up, Lost Dog Comes Home. One piece at a time. Is there anything we can do to make the news more appealing to you? Maybe. I guess you could lose the mustache. Lose my mustache? Well, gosh, I, I don't know. My birthmark makes it kind of tough. Always caused me problems at my old job. And that'll do it for us here at Channel 12 News. Make sure you turn those clocks ahead. Good night, St. Louis. The local family is forced out of their home by ghosts. Who are they going to call? <sighs> Ghostbusters, Tom? No, Diane. They're insurance company. That's just stupid what you said. Holy shit, that just turned out awful.